All right, hey guys, it is Chris here again with another video. And before I get into today's topic, I just wanted to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas or a Happy Hanukkah or whatever holiday you celebrate. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah and Happy Kwanzaa as well. Um, but today in this video, we're going to be talking about something about Sears once again. So this uh, article today is from CNBC and it's about this article pretty much sums up uh, Eddie Lampert trying to get more money out of the brands that Sears has. So, what Eddie Lampert did yesterday, on Monday, December 23rd, 2019, as a, quote, Christmas present for Transform Co., was he decided to sell Die Hard, a car battery brand, to advance auto parts for $200 million. So... Because Sears is, is declining and declining sharply, uh, they are desperate for any cash they can get. And they saw selling Die Hard for $200 million as an opportunity to keep the company afloat, which means to keep the workers suffering even more. Well, there's all, I mean, it's bad enough there's already workers that are going to be going to the uh, table, the, the tables um, with their families for dinner today and tomorrow to tell them that they're going to be out of a job and they're just applying for other stores. But... I don't want to get into that today. This video today is going to be about um, advanced auto parts buying Die Hard from Transform Co., who, own, who operates and owns Sears and Kmart. So, Eddie Lampert sees this as the benefit to provide the much-needed cash to turn around the business, which we all know that's a bunch of baloney, because Sears is really on a sharp decline. Advanced Auto Parts is acquiring Sears Die Hard, brand known for its car batteries for $200 million in cash, CNBC learned. Under a supply agreement, Sears Kmart owner Transform Co. will still have the rights to sell some die-hard items in Sears stores. Advanced, Ch Advanced Chief Executive Officer Tom Grieco told NBC in a phone interview, Advanced Auto Parts will also give Transform and, quote, begin, quote, exclusive royalty-free perpetual license, end quote, to develop and market die-hard products in other non-automotive categories. The deal also provides Sears and Kmart with much-needed cash, which they are desperate for because they're going to sell pretty much anything uh, to to keep the company afloat, which is just really unfortunate. And I do feel like that uh, the Kenmore, the appliance company, is probably going to be next. Uh, the retailer has been trying to turn around their business since the filing for filing for bankruptcy in 2018, but they appear to be facing some struggles they had seen before to the Chapter 11 filing, which was obvious. I mean that that's that's literally that's literally a no-brainer right there. They've been they've been struggling for many years and closing many stores and bad executive leadership. In November in November, Sears had secured an additional 250 million lifeline from lenders that included Eddie Lampert. So that's why Eddie Lampert cannot step out of Sears is because he is the one that is unfortunately keeping the company alive right now, which is just sad. Greco said Advance had started conversation with Transform Co. in the middle of this year because probably Sears, once again, like I said, was looking for a, for a quick way to make cash. We have been looking at the battery category for a couple of years, Gurko said in a phone interview. Die Hard has the highest brand awareness and regarded of any automotive battery brand in North America. Even before the bankruptcy, Sears had been trying to sell assets to infuse cash back into the business and of course so guys this is not the first time that sears has sold off their brands you got to remember the infamous craftsman sale back in 2017 to stanley black and dick and decker and i believe last year there was some other kind of sale i don't know we have, we have but anyways we'll get to that in a minute um we have believed that die hard brand has been e even more potential peter Barrett, who's president of Transform, Kenmore, Craftsman, and Die Hard Battery Business Unit, said in a statement, Advanced Auto Parts acquisition will complement our plans to introduce known Die Hard products in non-automotive categories such as sporting goods, long garden, authentic work, workwear, and other exciting new categories. Lampert, a hedge fund billionaire, pays $15 million. Uh, and this just goes on about different closings um, and then other other things that Sears has. It hopes to attract people from lots of Die Hard brands since 1967. And Sears struck a deal to sell uh, items from Die Hard to Amazon, um, but it will be going away when they sell the brand, which would make sense. Um, and they will probably bring the Die Hard battery brand to Walmart. So 
Uh, this pretty much puts the nail in the coffin for Sears. I mean, when Die Hard starts selling their batteries to Walmart, it's gonna be the, they're gonna be they're gonna be done with the um, battery business. And when Ken Moore uh, starts to make it to other appliance uh, stores that sell appliances, uh, such as Lowe's, Home Depot, uh, Best Buy, um, even a couple of others. I don't know exactly, but guys, I'm gonna just say this bright and bright uh, blatantly: uh, Sears is done. Sears and Kmart are both done, man. It's 2020. I mean, this is going to be their last. This was their last Christmas shopping season, and I'm sure you know. They're, they're, you know, the employees today are probably working their butts off because this is going to be their last uh, Christmas holiday shopping season. I do not see this company going forward. I think the 200 million will keep them alive for maybe uh, six months, but I, I think by the summer of 2020, uh, they're they're going to be wiped off the face of the earth, at least in the United States. Um, as Mexico, they're doing really well in other countries. They're actually not doing too half bad, but I do believe that the future for Sears and Kmart in the United States of America, uh, is not looking too bright. I think they're going to sell off Kenmore and they're going to close maybe two more rounds of stores because there really only is, they can only really close two more rounds and then they're done. And then, uh, that'll be it for Sears and Kmart pretty much guys. So anyways, uh, thank you guys again for watching this video. I know it was quick and short, but I figured I wanted to give you guys the information about, uh, die hard buying auto, advanced auto parts, buying die hard from Sears to tell you that Eddie Lampert is a total jerk and he's just greedy for cash. That that's pretty much it guys. <laughs> There's really no other way for me to sum it up. Uh, Eddie Lampert sucks. He never got a CEO for Sears. I mean, who would we even want to be the CEO of a declining company? I don't think anybody wants that. Um, but anyway, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I, if you want to go at my Sears, Sears video at Woodbridge Center should be up probably by this afternoon. If you guys have seen it, great. If not, you should go ahead and see that. But anyways, guys, that's about going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, Merry Christmas Eve. That's it.